All right, guys, quick unboxing. We have a Jack Mason. The packaging is kind of like a book. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, these have been out for a little bit. It's about time I get my hands on one. Kind of kidding, not really. Let's open this bad boy up, check it out. So, there we go. We, we have some information there. Looks like we have a little Texas medallion thing there. Nice packaging. Of course, they are in Texas, Dallas, Texas. And I believe we have a new colorway. So here we go. This is using the Miyota 9075, which is a Traveler's GMT. It has the jumping hour. This thing has a nice weight to it. I'm going to have to get it all peeled. So give me one moment. All right, guys, got it all peeled off. I got uh, most of the plastic. There still is some plastic on the side here and on the folding bits of the clasp. So there's a lot of protective plastic on this thing, but I got the main bits off so we can take a closer look at it. So this is a colorway that um, Peter, I think, uh, who I talked to over at uh, Jack Mason, was kind of waiting for this one to send to me because it has the orange colorway on it and he knows that I'm a fan of orange. I do like the weight of this. I like the bracelet. It has a nice flow to it. Super, super flexy, but has nice polish and taper. You can tell a lot of time was put into this thing. I have to say, I, I'll have to look up the price point on it. I don't know off the top of my head. When I do the full video, I will know more. But this seems like a premium watch. So... Um, hopefully it's not priced that way. Hopefully it's priced at least entry premium, but it does have the Miyota 9075. So it does have the jumping hour hand for setting. So it's more of a traveler's GMT. So you can, there you go. There's that jumping around. So that's pretty cool. This is second watch now I've handled with this movement and it's smooth. I dig it. So, and it's four Hertz movement. So, yeah, everything seems sorted on this thing. I like the K-shape. It's different than what I expected it to be. I don't know maybe what I was expecting, but it's a nice shorter lug-to-lug, -lug and it just has that clean, almost like the uh, the bean sculpture. I know it's not a bean in Chicago or whatever, but it just has that nice clean line to it, fully polished but not overly thick. It's not a slab side, so it's going to, not look thick, even though it isn't thick. Uh, it has a box sapphire crystal, has a bi-directional 48 click, I believe. Um, bezel action there with a sapphire insert, probably loomed. I'll give it a quick blast. It has an on-the-fly quick adjust in this very thin class, and it has tons of adjustment on that, a lot of adjustment. So, and it's pretty thin. So, overall, it's, it's impressive, guys. It looks like a really nice watch. Actually, I'll pop it on wrist. I know this is just an unboxing, but I'll pop it on wrist and give you a loom shot because, you know, why not? I think a lot of people are interested in this or maybe you don't know about this watch and maybe you should be interested in it. I don't know if that's just because of the... There it goes. So there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Yeah, this thing's going to be really comfortable. Give it a quick blast with the UV light. And like I said, full video as soon as I can. I'm backlogged. I'm trying to catch up. But there we go. There's the loom. Plenty of loom on this thing. And I, I'm i sure they're going to do more colorways even after this. Because they have a, in my opinion, kind of a home run design here. So why not uh, do some more fun colorways with it and keep them going? So there is the Jack Mason. Let me know what you guys think.